still. Um, we're supposed to be boarding um, about 10 minutes ago, and our plane isn't even here yet. So, once again, here I am, stuck at an airport. So guys, I finally made it on the plane. I'm one of the first to board, and I'm just sitting here now waiting for everybody else to board and take off. It is 10.30, um, we're still uh, on time. Our takeoff time is 10.40. Probably be a little bit behind schedule, but not much, um, which is fine, because I don't have anybody picking me up at the airport anyway. I'm taking a taxi to the hospital right from the airport, so. Um, I do have the layover in Charlotte, North Carolina, so I will see you guys then, if not um, beforehand. Bye. Hi guys, so I made it onto the next plane. Um, I'm in Charlottesville, and I am on the plane, and it's about an hour flight or so, heading over to Raleigh, and then it's about an hour ride from the <laughs> airport over to the hospital. So um, I'll see you guys when I get into Raleigh and uh, then as soon as I know anything about my dad, I will update you guys. This one is my dad. Okay guys, so here's the ribbons. The first one just says Jimmy Romanic and the dates of his year of his birth and year of his death. The second one says my dad's name and the lone wolf. And the third one says, it's hard to read that one, it's very faint. My dad's name, it says best father, grandfather, great-grandfather, husband, and friend. Okay, so I tied my dad and Jimmy's right here, and my other one for my dad right there. Gonna be a big star. Where you going? Where you going? <laughs> so guys, here I am at Duke Hospital in North Carolina once again with my dad. This is where he was when I was back here back in July and August when I was back here for a month and a half hoping to take care of him when they did surgery to remove a grapefruit size osteosarcoma cancerous tumor from his rectum and bladder area. A month ago, he went for scans and he got his scans back and there was no evidence of disease. Osteosarcoma cancer is a hidden cancer, per se. You can go one month and have no evidence of disease and go back the next month and have evidence of disease. Well, that's what happened with my dad. It's not good news. The cancer has spread to his pelvic area as well as his lungs. Some of you already may know a lot of this information. Some of you are new to our channel and don't know 
some of this information. My father is not a candidate for chemotherapy because he had, has had several heart attacks and only has 45% of his heart functioning. With osteosarcoma cancer, it's a bone cancer and radiation does not work on bone cancer. Plus, radiation feeds osteosarcoma. My father beat prostate cancer about seven years ago. And it was at that time that they were treating prostate cancer with large amounts of radiation. Radiation feeds this type of cancer. So if there was any chances of my dad having this cancer while he was going through prostate cancer and treatment, this fed it and made it grow, which caused the grapefruit sized tumor back in August and could have caused the tumors that he's now dealing with. So we're at the point now where we're dealing with palli palliative doctors. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but what that is is a combination of pain management and hospice. The goal at this point in time is to get a combination of medications to be able to take him home on and make him as comfortable as possible for the amount of time that he does have left. No one can tell us the exact amount of time he does have left. It could be two weeks, it could be two months, it could be six months, it could be a year. It's got to be hard for my dad. And as you can see by the picture that I'm going to have Kevin insert, he's taking it very well. We're joking and trying to have a good time. Even though we're still here at the hospital. Um, we should be going home hopefully tomorrow providing the hospital bed and everything gets delivered to the house because he's going to be in a hospital bed at home. So at this point, I'd like to thank everybody for the thoughts and prayers that they've been sending for him to get better. But what I want to ask now is for thoughts and prayers for peace and an easy transition 